Hi and welcome to this exclusive tutorial from Beatport and Make Your Transition. I'm Paul Nolan from Make Your Transition and today we're going to be going through the Visionary Deep House pack from Engineering Samples Red, which is an exclusive pack to Beatport Sounds. So this pack has been inspired by the likes of Patrice Baumel, Adriatique and Stefan Bodzin. Across the various folders you have sounds including synthesizers, arpeggio lines, bass lines and classic analogue drum machine sounds and the pack itself has been generated using hardware synths including the Moog Mother 32, Sub 37 and Roland 909 drum machines to name a few. So what we're going to do to begin this tutorial is we're going to show you how to add this pack to your sound library and then we'll jump straight into a few chapters of sound design about how you can get the most out of this pack. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now in Ableton Live 9, and what we're going to do is add this sample library to our list of places within the Ableton browser so we can easily navigate to the content without having to leave Ableton to use the Finder or the Windows Explorer. The process is exactly the same. So here I'm going to click on this button within the browser, which is called Add Folder. That will then take me to a browser where I can then navigate to wherever on my computer I keep my sample packs. As you can see, it's already navigated here. Now I can choose this particular folder or I could choose the library itself, which is what we're going to do here. I'm going to click open. You'll see that basically open up now. There you go. After a little think. And we now have access within the Ableton browser to all of our ARP sequences, bass lines and drums, etc. OK, so now we've got the library loaded up into our Ableton browser, we can now start to go about making some drum grooves. So let's open up the drum grooves folder and see what's inside. What we have here is 15 sets of different drum grooves in various styles. And as you can see here, they've been split into four different types or categories. You've got the full loop here, which is the full loop with the kick, the hi-hat, all the percussion and everything incomplete. You then have a low loop, which is normally just the kick drum from that loop, or some low-end percussion like toms. You then have a stripped loop, which is more of the esoteric percussion, maybe some cut-down hi-hats and claps, just to give you a bit of a variation. And then a top loop, which is all of your cymbals, rides, crashes, hi-hats, etc. So let's dive into these three loops that I've got here. Just resize those out a little bit so you can see what they are and then play that first scene so you can hear what's going on. So as you can hear, some really nice sort of sparse techno grooves going on here. And it starts with this kick, which is a low end, which if I double click here and play, you can hear it's just a kick on its own. But what I can also do here is transpose the samples and I can do this to all three of these samples in order to get them to sit even better and in a more interesting way. So we can then just click on the transpose control here, down arrow a couple of times, maybe give this a bit more of a low slung techno vibe. So you can hear a bit more grit, a bit more weight, a bit more low end to that kick. Nice and punchy as well. So moving on to our stripped percussion here. Let's have a little listen to this. So it's a nice kind of percussive hit with a lot of reverb. Let's say, for example, we want to take this down an entire octave, 12 semitones on the keyboard. I can hold shift, use the down arrow, and now let's listen to what effect that's had. So yeah, really nice and low, really giving that, again, that darker kind of techno feel. Then we have a drum loop here, a top loop with, again, some percussion. So yeah, that's a really nice kind of sparse groove that's working well. And we can just drop that by a semitone and then play the three together. So there you go, you've got plenty of control there. Okay, so let's add a baseline and go into the baselines folder. And then what you'll see is that you've actually got 
just like with the drums, a couple of different variations for each of the loops. So in this case, at the one at the top, which is what we're going to use here, we've actually got a no side chain and a side chain version, meaning that you've actually got one version of the audio file with side chain compression applied and then another one without if you would prefer it without or you want to do your own side chain compression. So I'm going to drag this particular sample in with the side chain already on just to drag it into an audio track and then maybe just adjust the level down a little bit and then listen to what we've got. So you can hear it's got a real full musical progression to it. So let's say, for example, we want to keep things simple and just keep a rolling groove going. Well, what we can do is take the first two bars, just drag and select, hold command, press L on the keyboard or control and L on a PC, and then just play along. What we'll also do is take an auto filter and then drag it onto our channel, maybe add a little bit of EQ, just to make sure that the kick drum still has a little bit of space and then we can have a nice rolling subgroove by rolling this low pass filter down. So let's look at some arpeggiated sequences. So as you can see in the arp sequence folder, yet again, we have different variations, which is really cool because you get both dry and wet variations of the samples, meaning that we get a version with effects such as reverb and delay on, and then a dry version should you choose to do your own. Now, I really like this number two one here, suits that are loop really well. but I don't necessarily like the effect on it. I wanna be able to have the control to do my own thing with it. So I'm gonna take the dry version and then just preview that. So it's great, it's the same sound, just without any effect. I can drag that into an audio channel and then I've added some send and return effects here in the shape of a reverb setting that I have and then a filter delay just using the basic Ableton equipment and plugins. So from here, I'm just gonna play this with our session. Just turn the level down, maybe just throw on a little bit of EQ again, just to soften it a touch. And then I'm gonna use the send effect to add our own little kind of sense of space and delay and reverb to a dry sequence. So once again, I can add an auto filter here and then control the frequencies that are being let through via the low pass filter. So moving on into synths, you'll be able to see when we open the folder here, we've got, again, dry and wet variations. But what's really nice, and it's something that you might have seen throughout the video, we've actually got all of these sounds also organized by keys. So you can see this particular one here is an E minor. We have G minor, F sharp minor, etc. So that can be really cool for working out what key you are actually in with the record that you're making and also whether or not certain sounds need to change their key to be able to match what you are doing. So let's take number four here and drag it in. And then what we're gonna do is play it and you'll be able to hear it's quite clearly out of key. You know, very, very sour. However, what we can do because it is in E minor, we can actually figure out that actually C is four keys further down the keyboard than E in this particular situation. So if I was to transpose the sample down four semitones, it will now sit in in terms of the, the harmony with the rest of the record. <laughs> 
That sounds good, and it's added a nice little emotional edge to our little idea here, but we just need to give it that extra presence and shine. So that's where we rely a little bit more on our send and returns. <laughs> Okay, so in terms of adding some interesting background, sort of white noise for drama and impact, we have a whole folder devoted to this in the Visionary Deep House pack. So as you'll be able to hear if I flick through a couple, like a filtered white noise kind of looped kind of sequence affair. So let's take number four here and we'll drag this in and then we'll listen to how that sits with the rest of the record. Again, just going to drop the levels down a little. That's a nice kind of industrial noise type of rhythmic sound. So if we were to play that with the rest of the drums, you can hear it sits very, very well indeed. And it just gives an extra dimension to what we have. And again, adds to the drama and the impact of the record as we move through uh, an arrangement process as well. So finally, what I want to add is, again, some effects. So we have a selection of effects, so things like whooshes, rises, etc. So let's dial through a couple of these. So I quite like this one, 22, and then that can be added in sporadically through a track as well. So we'll just add a little bit of reverb to that as well and then play that along with everything else. So there you have it. That is Visionary Deep House, exclusive to Beatport Sounds. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'm Paul Nolan, and I will see you again soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.